Now that's cool. Just snap right together. Hey guys, Brian Young with Pro Tinker. Hey, I'm doing a video. I haven't done one of these ever, and I'm doing a video on how to set up the uh, Auto World uh, um, 164 scale slot car sets. I just want to show you what you get in one set, how you set it up. It's really not complicated, but I just thought it'd be fun for a guy to see what he's going to get in a set. Now this is the brand new Trans America Electric Racing slot car set. You get the 1970 Plymouth Cuda which is uh, Swede Savage, and the 1967 Mercury Cougar. And it's a simple offset figure eight, okay? Now, so so here's, you know, the track is really easy to set up. All it is is a click and click system. See, it just clicks together. So I've kind of got it started here. This is the um, oval here, and then you're just going to click it here, okay? And then I'm going to put the support. Well, Mark, get those, put one there and one there. And then I'm going to put another one right here. And then see how easy this is? I mean, it's really not a complicated set to put together. That's what I love about Auto World, okay? Now, and the minute, <laughs> the minute I say that, I'm having a problem with this piece of track. It's so funny when you're doing videos, you always have issues. Um, uh, but I, I, it's, good to, it's good that I had these issues so you can see how to, to, to deal with them. Okay, so we're going to put this one right here. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to scoot that over here. Put those over there. Mark, make sure that they move the one down a little bit. Okay. All righty. Let's see here. Let's get this last one put in here. I know this might be boring watching this, but you know what? It's good, good to see. Okay, so you're going to get little flags, okay? And these you're going to put right here in all your uh, supports because it comes with little... Uh, um, your instructions are right here, okay? Kind of shows you the layout. And uh, inside the thing is our little pennants. It comes with little pennants. Um, uh, and then, now, this, now, okay, so you want to make sure that you read the uh, maintenance for your cars, okay? Uh, it's very important. It has a complete diagram of your car, all the parts that are required for the car, and I can get all those parts, okay? Uh, but they're simple T-Jets. These are the old-fashioned T-Jets. Now, the, the old-fashioned T-Jets didn't have the magnets because now they have the magnets. This is called the, the Ultra G Ultra G T-Jet chassis, okay? And so, and, the, and you have some sandpaper because sometimes you might want to sand, sandpaper the, the track to make sure the oxidization doesn't... Uh, and sometimes you want to get a little rough on your, your guide blade so they... they uh, see, see, look at that. Isn't that sweet? I tell you, this is this is exactly how I remember it back in 1972 when I was racing with my uh, T Jet T Jet track. I mean, these are nice little fun sets. Look at that. That is so sweet. I don't remember them being this fast. You know why? It's because this magnet's inside it. Okay, so that gives the track or car a little mat traction on the on the track. Okay. Now, what's cool about this is, okay, so this is your layout here. Now, if you bought extra track inside the instructions, I think it's this one. No. Well, like here, you know, it has different layouts that you can add to it. Um, and on the back of the box, not this one, but on the some of the other ones, there are multiple layouts, okay? Now, you could do a simple oval with this. But now, if you bought two of these sets, you could do a really nice layout with a lot of curves and everything. And again, it just disassembles real easy, okay? Um, man, I could play this all day long. You know what I remember? Oh, oh, and also, it comes with a bridge. Check this out, okay? And a grandstand, okay? I remember, let me just tell you some memories. I remember playing T-Jets. There was a store in Toledo, Ohio at the Franklin Park Mall called the Hobby Center. And I used to save my $7, and I would go buy... A T-Jet. It was in a little plastic square with foam in each end. And I'd go get my little T-Jets. And I'd come back to the Imperial Trace apartment, which was in next to Franklin Park Mall. And I'd set up my layout. And I remember, it's amazing how you remember mem certain things in life, but then other times you don't. But I remember having my big layout set up. And I was into girder and panels. Remember our girder and panels that we did? Like these right here. Okay. And I had my girders and girder and panels all set up, okay, as buildings all over my 
all over my uh, slot car set. And I remember playing it, and I remember one listening to one song while I was playing my race set, and that was American Pie by Don McLean. And that song was playing, and I'm just racing my cars all around. Oh, I hit the bridge. All around the track. It's just really fun. I'm, you know, I'm actually, I, this is really sweet. And they run really sweet. Anyway, this is the Transamerica set. And it's, I've got seven different sets. I mean, Transamerican. I've got the new head-to-head -head set. Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, Zombie, John Ford, everything. Okay? So if you want to have a lot of fun with slide cards and your kids, very fun setup, get one of these Transamerica sets. They're only $129 right now. I think I might have them on sale, too. But have fun.